What do you got over there, Christopher? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here yeah, we go. All right. All these uh, have to do with this weekend. We will have an answer to them on Monday. Uh, okay. These two teams are playing each other. Chargers, Bengals. Now, I'm not going to go quarterbacks. I'm going to okay. go running backs. Which of these dynamic backs has more total yards on Sunday? Austin Eckler, Joe Mixon. Oh, Joe's been on fire lately. I'm aware. And this Chargers team has just been having trouble just stopping that run. More often than not, I've got to go with Joe Mixon in this one. He's been stupendous this year. He has been terrific. Really coming on. And the Chargers are going to have to go into the jungle. The Chargers are going to have to go into the jungle early window, west coast to the early window, east coast. And, you know, that didn't go very well for them in Baltimore last time they strolled into an AFC North contest. No, but this is one of those weird games where we're kind of expecting a Bengals blowout Uh, and the Chargers might come in and pull an upset. Even though Austin Eckler is one of those uh, Rich Eisen show favorites, I'll go with Joe Mixon on that one. I'll go with Joe Mixon on what's more likely. Okay, okay, what's more likely? You like Joe Mixon. All right, what's more likely? Now, I had these all teed up for yesterday. Okay, Okay, So today it's been, uh, you know, Joe Judge came out and said Daniel Jones is out. Okay. Okay. What's more likely, uh, New York teams, a Jets second straight win or a Giants second straight win? Well, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go because the Jets take on the the uh, Eagles, right? Right. Oh my God! And the Giants with Mike Glennon, knock on wood, if yeah. you're with me, Glennon, <laughs> McGlennon. Uh, McGlennon, which is what <laughs> which is what Sap call called him. Um, I'll go with Jets. I'll say that's more likely. I'll say a Jets second straight win. Zach Wilson will play a terrific game. The Eagles. Might still have uh, a little bit of the old stench from last week's visit to MetLife. They're back at MetLife. And Jalen Hurts is questionable for that game, as you and I are talking right now, Christopher. Nick Sirianni mentioned that today. Use the word questionable. So it could be Gardner Minshew versus uh, Zach Wilson. Hmm. So I'll, I'll go with the Jets. Chris, I'll okay. go with the Jets. All right, go one. with the Jets. All right, here we go. Next one up, we got a couple of division games with home dogs. Division game with home dogs. Which home dog likely to pull an upset here? Falcons over Bucks. Yes. Seahawks over 49ers. I'll say Falcons over Bucks, man. That's what I'll say. Really? And can no we get Kyle Pitts here. some catches and in the end zone for crying out loud? I mean, what's happening with that one? How does he have one catch last week? What is know. going on with Kyle crazy. Pitts not getting the ball? Like, he should be getting it 19 times a game. It does seem criminal. Come on, man. Yeah. I know Cordell Patterson is is terrific, and that's where the offense runs through. But I, I will go with the Falcons having that opportunity. I have zero confidence in Seattle's ability to – I saw that the, Shane Waldron, the offensive coordinator, said they got to get DK Metcalf the ball more. I'm like, yeah, think? Uh, yeah, no kidding. You think? No bleep, Sherlock. I mean, yeah. gosh. But again, that's what happens when you can't run the ball. Just take away DK and let Tyler Lockett have his day. So they got to do something. I, I, I mean, I, why I would can't go they with, do what Seattle's done with Debo with uh, with him? I will go. Yeah, maybe so. You know, get him the ball anyway. And I wonder you can if we'll see. I, I wonder if we'll see the Niners use Ayuk in that way. If Debo's out, Debo's definitely not playing. He's out a couple weeks. Right? I, I don't think Debo's playing this game. Which helps Seattle, but I would take Atlanta okay. over 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 Seattle's opportunity to All upset. Right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, a couple more, a couple more. You talked about it earlier. What uh, could happen in the college football landscape tomorrow, and how the playoff might end up? So, what's more likely, the playoff ends up chalk or Notre Dame sneaks in? Um, I think Notre Dame sneaks in. I think we get a Baylor. Maybe I think Baylor there. beats yeah. Oklahoma State or Houston surprises Cincinnati. I don't. I don't. I, I. I would. I'd say Baylor beating Oklahoma State would would work. Um, and I, and I think so. The chalk would be what? What do you consider chalk though? Georgia beats Alabama, and then Oklahoma State wins, and Houston. In Cincinnati, Michigan win. That's chalk. That's I think. Your chalk? I think that scenario right there, the favorites win. That's chalk. I'll say Baylor beats Oklahoma State and Notre Dame gets in, okay. because I think the football gods want Michigan to play Notre Dame, and they want Marcus oh, Freeman, whose that. entrance into the uh, players' locker room, into the awesome. locker room, was uh, something to behold. Notre Dame put that one out, and it's gone viral, and rightfully so. 
I think I think the football gods want the Notre Dame Fighting Irish to make the Final Four just to keep that thing alive. And I think the college football playoff committee would want that in the worst way as well, all due respect to the Big 12. Although I think the football committee would like to back up the Big 12 too right now. I think they would like to get the Big 12 nice and pumped up. Certainly if Cincinnati makes it too before they join the Big 12. That would be two Big 12 teams in, technically. But I think Notre Dame makes it. How does that sound? I love it. No chalk. Rich, I love that. Okay. All right, last one. NBA tonight. Suns and Warriors do it again. So what's more likely... The Suns' win streak rolls on, or the Warriors bring it to an end? I think the Warriors end it tonight. I think the Warriors do end it tonight. I think they play better. No Devin they Booker tonight. I, yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, and how about they don't turn it over 90 million times? They had, I mean, that was kind of wild on Tuesday night. But I do think the Warriors come up with that W tonight. And then look out. Clay will come back eventually. Yeah. Wiseman will hopefully come back in a couple of uh, weeks or months if necessary. And then... I think we might Look see out. a 40 burger or something tonight. From What's more likely? That's the um, Western Conference Finals or Ooh. someone from the field pops in? Good one. Good one. Good one. I'm what, gonna what, say, what do you say there? I'm gonna I, know, say... I, know, I, know, I know I counseled you to give me stuff that's oh, yeah, just boxing in the weekend. We find out I'm right now away. going back to you uh, over the steering wheel. I'm going to say this is the finals. TJ Jefferson, your way. thoughts? Yeah, is this way. a finals preview or what's more likely? Suns Warriors mm -hmm. coming up in late May. You know, like we're watching, we're settling in for a Memorial Day weekend uh, Western Conference Finals between these two teams, mm -hmm. or somebody else from the field pops in. I think I got to go with the field. Who from the field pops in? I, I mean, the field just means that could be anybody. I understand that. It. And what's most likely from the field? See, this is the way this, I, I see what's more likely coming uh, I mean, down the pike. It's just that, that we're, it can't end. It just it can't end. It's so like looking in a mirror from the Western mirror. Conference? Or am I getting Correct. the field from the, no, field from from the, the, the Western West. Conference? Who would be the one to pop in so to burst U this war? You got Utah, wars? you got Dallas, and the Lakers maybe now, get you know it together. What, I, 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 what about the Trailblazers now that they bounced their general manager? I'll take it back. I do believe it'll probably one of those two. Going, now that I think about no, it. it's not one of those no, two making is it. This the is this the Western Conference Finals? Yay or nay? I'm I say, say no. You say no. no. I'll say yes. He's too focused on the grab bag. It took. Is that you're 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 ready to? You're, you're <laughs> well, no, because at first I was thinking East Coast, the Eastern Conference, and then I no I no just no, no, no. Got we're just confused. just we're just we're just putting I, it here. Utah looks like they could, maybe they play good enough defense. I mean, it's not even we're, we're weeks from Christmas which is oh, the quarter even, post even close point either. of the yeah. NBA so, season. I know. I know there's a long way to go here. Sixers oh, no. currently out of the playoffs, TJ. Yeah, I mean, look, we were 8-2 and two when, with, when Embiid went out. Then he was gone for like eight games. I think we lost seven out of eight. Yeah. So, Hey, you have Embiid in your fantasy team. It looked like he was gone two nights ago. He what? took. He, he was like one for 90 oh, from yeah, the field against, that night. Oh, uh, yeah, against the Celtics. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a game that was not fun to watch. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.